Okay, today we are going to learn about how to create a report card for students starting with primary level. Uh, you may be there and when you don't have cash for buying those softwares, or the parts of softwares which are expensive, but you may need these skills to develop just simple Excel, Excel VB template which you can use and come up with a fantastic report card. So let us start. So here I'm going to start with, I'm going to show you how you can use this system and you generate your own school report card. Here we log in. After logging in, you will have these options here where they say auto report card generator version 3.0.1 this i designed this one for the school called sky virginia school in workshop developed by emma dacom tiger innovations here are my phone numbers my email my blog and the this guy is paid that's why I said the license is to Sky Virginia School works so. This school is from baby class to P7. Besides, we are doing other software tools like this, school finance management, which includes a fees, expenditure and payroll, plus others, and report maker new curriculum. You can check on my account, you find those videos for new curriculum, but that one is a web-based application school management system having everything and it has a system for it in fact for it it deals with the from nursery to primary to secondary senior six finance a lot of things are there you can check and see then account management tools report makeup for primary level circle management and many many more tools so let us start and see how this one works one you need to first open like this button which says open menu user interface you click it and they will say please don't copy and paste anywhere in the system just click this button like this when you open this button they will show you this main window which says sky virginia school and the rest as you can see here we have these different buttons which has their different functionalities one we shall look at is general information in general information those who normally have their good own grading scale here you have option for setting your own grading scale <clears throat> let us see set grading as you can see 0 39 this guys we are saying f9 40 44 they are saying pass 80 to division one as you can see they have here then here there is class information now this one like for p3 term 3 now let me make 2020 2024 and you see 2024 so uh next this term start date the term i think started in um, the time started in, I think, in uh, six, six, uh, in September 2024. That's that time. Then uh, it will end on, um, on the 3rd, on the 3rd December, 3rd December this year. So this is the class, the class monitor name. So here you set in the class teachers, the class teacher initials, then here the subject. For example, we have the English, we have math, science, social studies. And here you put the initials of those teachers. And then here, these things are editable, you can check and put what you want. <coughs> they are not limited. Right? So here we have where you set the, the, the subject remarks. You can set from 0 up to 100, depending which range you want to give which remark. Then from there, you click back. Then here we have student list and buy data. Just click that button. Here we have where you put the names of the students. Just put the name of the student. For example, I can put myself. Then put in capital letters. Just to respect my name. Mesime Emmanuel. Mesime Emmanuel. Yeah, these numbers will auto increment themselves. Here you can put the number, you can put six, 
age, house, status, number of subjects. Last day, let us say we saw there, there are how many? There are only four. Uh, fees balance if you want, next time fees, pay code if you want, you can put. Then immediately here after putting the name, it saves automatically. So come to main main here. Then from there, here we have the subjects which we have. Oh, the one we, which had ruled their side. The more subjects you put, the more they will, they will appear here. So here we have, we have what we call student photos. You can even upload the photo of the students. Um, by default, it will be locked. I will just come and click here. I say remove this so they can put a clear photo. Uh, when I click in this phase here, I just say, do we have any photo around? Let me check. Let me check a photo, a photo, a photo. No. I have my system here which have some photos. Okay. Like this. I'll click. Like this. Let me get something like locals. Okay. Let me look somewhere else. This one. Public. Okay. okay. There are no soft photos. Okay, images. No. I'm looking for a photo by the way. Um public. No. So I didn't have photos. Photo later. Maybe let me get from desktop. If I have like one, let me just take this. Let me just take this one here. Like this. Uh -huh. You can even add as many as you want. 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 You can put as many photos as you want. Many photos as you want. Many photos as you want. I'm making this one. Okay. So I say back. Here I put the photo which you want. Now when I come on subjects here under this column here, on subjects, just click on this. Then I just record the max. Now for example, I just put I just record the max for English, beginning. Need and like this, and you save. You save back. Then you ask you have data with the blue text button. So yes. Ah. Then the same thing to the other subjects like I should have much there. Ah. The same thing to this subject. Uh -huh. The same thing to this subject. So the same thing maybe this one if it has, but this one has no marks. However, uh, this one has a uh, where you can say clear. If I click on this button, clear sheet, that means clear action will delete all marks for this sheet on this sheet. You want to continue? Say no. If you say yes, it clears all. If I say yes, it clears only the marks. So I can put back my marks. And put back my marks. I can put back my marks. I can put back my marks. So here I have saved. So the next thing I will do, I'll just come and say print table mark sheet. You see this paper mark sheet? Just click this. The mark sheet. So I'll click on this, generate code results, generates. Remember here I had done the max, just select this one is part of the max. So generate the max, then I can come and say go to subject analysis. Here you can analyze and see subject analysis. You can see number of D ones in English, like that, like that, like that. The number of these, these that means you can add all these and you get here. There are two C's, six P's, like this. Percentage of these, 
percentage is is percentage is passes percentage is f then aggregate analysis you can see those who have got fours who have got this you can analyze division analysis those are different one they are four two like this then after you can print this report if you want just click this button print print report are you sure you want to print this report you say yes ah, print out the report but if you don't want you can just come back to image and generate also this generate generate when you're done when you come back here then there is this one which is a eot remark sheet here we give remarks of the report how there is this part part here where we define our comments for example you can see hr report remarks and then the class report remarks these ones are in categories aggregates four to six these are like the category of remarks we should pick from detail continues after some six okay that means if you are coming here to give comments you have based on those ones when i have said for this person i will continue now i will put this one this one has a limit it means if i'm to give a remark i'll come and knock here i look for the category of 11 where they are category of 11 is here encouraging results as you can see just give all the marks you want you give the remarks based on your google side you know, okay so this is a second grade you give remarks based on what you want okay then it's done i click on back back ah, when i'm done here if I click on password analysis, you can see the password analysis. How we are. This is what we are. Bot set. Come back. You can click on MOT. Then you also click. Then you can see the password pass analysis. Come back. You click on MOT. You click on submit analysis. You can see the password. Then you can come back. Okay. Now it is what we call we have mid-term report which is many report we look like this all of them is a signature for the class teacher for the teacher okay but our main first is a mid-term report which will look like this all of them are generated automatically you don't have to put anything and even if the term is three and this person has passed accordingly they will give this word promoted to be said as you can see this person is called the Bosa Kelvin from his GPK next. You can see this is another person and everything like right that. If I click on next, you can see everything coming. Next, everything coming in this format. Okay. Everything is coming in that format. Okay. Now you can decide print all the report card at once you can print one by one if i print one let's click like this then i customize my custom here but my report can balance well and let's put point this point two and my report can balance well okay can balance well can balance well so okay okay I customize Page. I want to put in a four. I put in a four. Then I put a bit to ninety. <coughs> so it has one last one. I'll just make it a five. Here, and page make it a five. Okay. Make it five. And so it is now here. Okay. On top here. Is good. Eight. Then here margins. I need to that good. It can balance. You can see how it is. But the top part is very good. So you can put three. So this is what we will do. Then you say, print. Print and put. Thank you.